what is going on guys name is here bringing you guys a brand new video and today we're gonna be making a tier list of all the teams in the cdl where they currently stand uh, i like to start off all these types of videos by saying in my humble opinion uh and let's get into it all right uh, i feel like most of the people's tier lists will look like pretty similar uh right now with like the current landscape of call of duty um i'm not really gonna like base teams on where i think they're going to be with their roster changes um but i will take it like semi into account uh based on how their tournament went uh so let's just go like left to right and then i'll, I'll probably move them around so for la thieves i'm actually gonna put them in the a tier i like thieves they just look great uh they fixed a lot of their issues their map pulls good well it's better than it was uh still need to see some improvement on a couple maps uh, i'd like to see them get better at embassy hard points um i'm pretty sure their control like hotel control is still like the only one they're like really good at so i gotta see them get better at the other control maps as well um but for now they are going to be in the a tier um pretty cut and dry but we're gonna be moving some around so let's get through most of these teams and then <laughs> i can adjust uh from there so vegas legion um well there's rumors they made a roster change so gonna be a little bit different going forward I'm going to put them in the C tier for now. Yeah, we'll circle back to them, though, depending on where these other teams go. Uh, Optic Texas going to go on B tier because I feel like Optic is like a low tier A team because of how good they were at the major. But then they made a roster change and it's like, does it change that much? I guess we'll find out. Uh, their search and destroy was absolutely amazing. And they were like one or two plays away uh in two different maps from literally getting into the top three um and like matchup wise effect like they match up really well with some of the better teams that we have hardpoint still needs a little bit of work but they're either top of b or low of or low a but we'll see as we go ravens they just got to be in the d tier man it's just tough for them uh lag not the best performance at the major so for lag like they started off with a 3-1 loss to ultra they lost a really bad hard point in that series um, and then LAG went down to losers. They won a 3-2 versus Legion. So they clutched winning game. And they got 3 0 by the breach. This still like a bad performance post honeymoon by LAG. Uh, Salt had that really bad map. They started off a little bit. Uh, got they, they feel like they got figured out a little bit. Uh, I'll probably put them high uh, C tier right now. Uh, Boston breach. I feel like Boston's a really good team. Like if you look at the let's see the overall standings, Boston sitting in seventh. So they haven't had too much success but they had that issue at major one if you guys remember where like awakening got sick um and they got like bumped out so i think it was i think they got bumped out in group play yeah so it's like hard to judge them there but then online they were a really good seed, top four seed going into this major i think um and were they top four seed hold on let me go yeah they were they were number three seed coming into this major so they played really good online and they had a tough schedule um and then they go into the major they lose three two to phase which is just like like that's just tough and then they go into losers and they beat uh seattle surge right in 3-1 fashion winning uh the respawns against them which is fire two respawns and they go in they 3-0 lag who were looking really strong online after lag was coming off of a win too so that's a big time w and then they move on they play optic in three winnable maps if you guys look back at that series uh let's see if i right here so you're right here if you look back at that series guys 252 48 you remember dashy makes the crazy play at the end of zarqua uh, I feel like they could have won that. Boston should have won that. They lose the 6 4 Fortress. Uh, Nero is going crazy. And they lose a 3 1, a Celo Control. But guys, I'm telling you, they literally choked like three of those rounds. Like, no bullshit. Um, so I think Boston's a, a low tier B team, honestly. Uh, I do put them above these teams. So we'll see. Or they're just like middle of the pack B. Like, they're solid. And they could ascend as well with their roster change. But like I said, I'm not going to factor that in too much as it stands. Um, Seattle Surge. Um, they can't win SD and the respawn's not dominant. Uh, I gotta put Surge in the C, man. I, I gotta I put them like there, bro. Uh New York subliners. I mean, I think this I think this tournament was tough, like for NYSO. Now they come in, it's like 3-2 versus Rocker. Uh, you know, they had that crazy travel. They went a 3-1, then they lose to Thieves, who ended up getting top two in the tournament. Um and a matchup that I was really worried about New York in. Honestly, I picked uh, Thieves to win that match just based on how it went. Um, you know, looking at this team, like these are these are nail biters, guys. Like, I feel like they should have won this map one hotel. If you go back and watch that as well, they literally lose because they get put in the blender on diner. They have a crazy memory when it comes to the hard points and search and destroy. Couldn't tell you what happened in these rounds sometimes, I swear. But uh, if you remember the series, though, after they lost the event, they go down to losers. 
whatever i feel like as soon as they lose this map like they're they're just mentally checked as to like they come into the tournament they have crazy travel they lose a uh, game five i think it was right first round to rocker they lose a game five and you know they go down to losers right you're already in losers you beat ravens and you're matched up against thieves in limb round two you got to have a strong mental but i'm telling you when you lose that it's just tough and then the momentum and that's one of their better maps too like they're really good at hotel hardpoint and then you go into a silo search which you've been good at online and the thieves edge you out there uh and then you lose a three two hotel control i just feel like that's the way the cookie crumbles in call of duty like i'm not gonna they won major one they still were good online and they come in and they lose, uh, you know, game five in a hotly contested three game series. I'm still putting them in B tier or, or high end B tier or low end A. I'm gonna put them right there for now, honestly. I feel like a lot of people will have them in B, but dude, they, they're the champs, bro. Which means they can win another event. Like they're gonna be in the mix. They're gonna be competing. Um, I am worried a little bit about them uh in some of these uh game modes like in search and destroy they started to play a silo and then you see them lose it at the event um in control as well it's like starting to look more human in these game modes so we'll see how they they end up uh for ultra i'm just gonna put them at the high end of b uh ultra is a very consistent team obviously can ascend to that a tier um but they you know very well rounded but for some reason they're just getting edged out in these tournaments uh i mean they get that 3-0 loss to ultra thieves was just on a crazy run here but they got 3-0 twice at this tournament which is like that's not good you know what i mean like that that's that's concerning clearly they have some like big things that are going wrong with the squad uh they got and they got like mobbed bro in both these matches like this was not close at all and this was not close at all so it's like they need to expand their map pool. They need to like get better at some of their hard points. Stop trying to play Mercado. Um, yeah, and then Hotel, they were used to be dominant on. They were the number one control team, I believe, or number two right after Minnesota Rocker. And then they just faced a bunch of losses there. So it's impossible for me to put them uh, in A tier. Uh, honestly, they're behind Optic in the B tier. Um, and then Atlanta Phase is S tier. Just obviously, uh, they're a cut above the rest right now. Their search and destroy is unreal. The hard point has gotten so much better. The control looks good. Everybody's performing. I could probably put Thieves here too, but I don't know. I, I feel like I got to separate phase as it stands because how everybody's performing. Um, next up, we got the Florida Mutineers. Uh, I probably put them down here. Like for Florida, you just come in. I mean, you get 3-0, you're already out. It's like... I mean, you're down there with like Vegas and surging them like in terms of like uh cdl points during major two qualifiers but if you look at like overall like they're still down there with them as well uh, i just feel like we've seen more upside from legion like uh let's see what did legion yeah like legion made it like decently they won a decent amount of matches here at this tournament or legion i remember legion getting a big one yeah okay yeah they beat breach and then they beat elevate 3232 remember they were on their crazy s and d streak this was major one they come in they beat rockers it's like a pretty big upset then for florida they got double bumped out so like by all means legion had a better major one then they have like basically the same performance online uh and then we go into major two and uh legion got bumped out and florida got bumped out uh i mean they're very similar um surge had a really good performance at major one leg at least looked good in a singular game mode and or in a couple game modes excuse me and dominant in one game mode which was hard point coming into the major uh obviously got to polish some things but this is where I guess a little bit of opinion flaws into it. Cause like you technically could put them like back here, but given like the state of this roster, um, the decision-making that they've had and you know, I guess search, they've been like excelling a little bit. I don't know. I'm putting Florida D bro. I just, I'm trying to convince myself as to why I will put them in C, but I have absolutely zero faith in this roster. So I guess a little bit of opinion comes into this one. Um, this is really all opinion. I just think they're horrible. So uh, we'll, we'll see if Florida could, could figure it out, but they're going into D right now. And then Minnesota Rocker, a great major out of them. Um, I really turned the tides for this team. Uh, we saw some big performances out of Bantz. He's really turning up. Afro's turning up. I feel like with these guys though, like Bantz and Afro, can they keep up that level of play? I know Afro can, and I'm not saying Bantz is like, I'm not saying that he can't. It's just a little uncharacteristic for Bance to have an entire year playing like this. So I think he might cool off a little bit, but I think the team as a whole will has gotten better. So I think uh, I'm gonna keep them in B, B right here. Uh, and honestly, above Ultra at the moment. Um, 
yeah so i feel like this is a pretty solid tier list i think uh the points of contention people will have will be like putting surge all the way down here uh that probably could go above leg um and then putting florida and d i feel like people might criticize that a bit and then new york in a but just keep in mind like new york's tournament their team what they're capable of they want a major um i still have them above all of these teams um yeah and we see a lot of roster changes this can change quickly but i think this is a solid tier list so let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh this was a lot of fun to make i hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you guys in the next video we'll be making more lists peace out